which is very important. Okay, so we finish with the casting procedures. Now the casting defects. A casting defect is usually an irregularity in the metal casting that is undesired and some defects can be tolerated while others can be repaired and they cannot be eliminated. So as far as possible, if their castings are defective, we are not going to seed those into the oral cavity. But there are some things which uh, can be uh, rectified also. Now, what are the defects that are occur are distortion, porosity and uh, incomplete castings, etc. Now, the distortion can be due to the mold expansion and due to the wax pattern uh, distortion. So, uh, let us uh, see here. So, the distortion can occur because of the uh, different reasons which are highlighted in the box here. I will not repeat them. So, you need to... Uh, these are different steps which are given to uh, prevent that. There you can use hard wax. Careful handling of the hard wax pattern during the removal. Separation should be applied to the tie to ensure the smooth removal. Softening the wax at uniform temperature and invest immediately after it is removed from the dye. Now, the next defect, surface roughness and um, irregularities. It is uh, defined as surface imperfections. These uh, appear as uh, small nodules which are characteristics on the uh, surface. Uh, as uh, air bubbles you can uh, see there on, on the diagram. And it could be caused because of the... Uh, uh, it can be prevented by proper investing techniques and... Uh, Mixing the investment properly, application of a wetting agent and a rapid heating uh, are also the causes of fins and spines. Prolonged heating, uh, it leads to decomposition of investment liquid water powder ratio and it can be prevented by a proper proportioning of the uh, investment. And then you have the water films uh, which can also lead to some surface irregularities. So you can use a proper uh, ratio again and try and vibrate the mix to uh, eliminate any of the uh, air bubbles, etc. And uh, foreign bodies, that is the incorporation of uh, some foreign particles in the mold. They could be the pieces of the investment or they could be bits of uh, the carbon from the flux or the sulfur components from the decomposition of investment. It could be anything. And uh, therefore, the cause is the... Uh, you can, uh, the casting pressure, if it is too high pressure, again, roughness, uh, can it can lead to roughness. If it is too low pressure, can lead to incomplete casting. And carbon inclusions, again, absorbed during the casting results in formation of visible carbon inclusion. Therefore, pattern positioning, again, is very important when you are placing the pattern within the mold. Porosities may occur both within the casting or on the external surface. Uh, this is a very important question, again, which is uh, asked in your for your short notes or it could be your orals where you or it could even be shown to you uh, unfinished casting can also be shown to you and you could be questioned on all these uh, lines that is what do you see on the casting surface can you enumerate the reasons how are you going to prevent it so this is the way uh, in which you are uh, likely to be assessed for this thing so porosity is due to uh, metal solidification porosity is due to the trapped gas and porosity is to the residual air so due to the uh, metal solidification, we have the uh, localized shrinkage uh, porosities, which is caused due to insufficient molten alloy, long and thin sprue and low casting. And the uh, remedy is to use a sprue of correct thickness, proper attachment, placing a reservoir, flaring of the sprue at the junction of the attachment and reducing the molding temperature, mold temperature. Suckback porosity. Again, uh, Classically asked question, the different type of porosity, like your suckback porosity, hot pot porosity, pinhole inclusions are very commonly asked question. So please pay good attention to this part of the presentation. If the sprue is attached at 90 degrees, the molten alloy enters the mold space and directly hits on the opposite wall of the mold. And this uh, results in the formation of what is called as the hot spot. So during solidification, the metal near the hot spot solidifies first. And due to this, there is no extra molten metal left to compensate for the shrinkage. So that has to be prevented by proper attachment at 45 degrees. Micro uh, porosities, again, are irregular voids within the uh, material if the uh, solidification occurs at uh, improper temperatures. Therefore, it is not a very serious defect and you can increase the mold temperature. Subsurface uh, porosity, again, uh, whenever you are uh, in a too much of a rush, and uh, you're trying to attempt something, it could lead to the subsurface porosities. Porosity is due to the 
trapped gases are the gaseous porosities within the molten alloy and on cooling the alloys liberate this trapped gases but remain trapped within the alloy becomes rigid pinhole porosities so you can uh, refer all these uh, slides and you have the gas inclusion porosity because of the and uh, inclusion of the gases and porosity is due to the residual air what is back pressure uh, porosity it is caused due to the inability of air and other gases to escape out of the investment making a way for the alloy so that is referred to as the back pressure uh, porosity so it could be because of the clogging of the mold increase uh, distance uh, from the mold and inadequate casting uh, pressure or uh, dense thickness so prevention is you have to give proper venting use of a reservoir end of the ring should not be completely covered in any part of the casting procedure dense layer of the investment material should be scraped out to facilitate the escape of the gases and thickness of the investment from the above surface should not be more than 3 to uh, should be 3 to 4 mm incomplete casting occurs whenever there is inadequate amount of molten metal entering into the mold and incomplete uh, casting so these are this is a table where you will see the procedural errors the type of the failures and the solution so th this can be asked as your question so this table is uh, very important on that front these are the same points which i have discussed so it will not be uh, repeated uh, let